much you're welcome. A very good welcome. Uh, this is Uganda. I love tomorrow's match. Uh, we are going to be briefly here, so prepare your questions, guys. Uh, we will start with the head coach and we'll go to the captain. Uh, coach, what can you say about tomorrow's game coming in this match against Uganda? Drew in South Africa and the media is waiting to hear from you how you prepare for this match. Um, good evening. Uh, first of all, I want to congratulate my compatriot Paul Pitt and Uganda with the qualification for AFCON for next year. So also from our side we are uh, very happy that the qualification is there. Um, it's a fantastic year for South African football after our bronze medal in the beginning of the year and now the qualification for the next AFCON. Um, at the other side, um, does that change something for the game of tomorrow? Uh, no, maybe one thing, yes, that there will be less stress than if uh, we still had to win the game tomorrow. But at the other side, I think um, we have uh, our self-proudness. We want to win the game tomorrow, we want to end as first in the group. So that means that we have to beat Uganda tomorrow, so from that side it doesn't say change uh, so much uh, for us. I hope that it will be a nice game, a good game. It's a full house, so um, there will be enough atmosphere in the stadium. Uh, but that is only a motivation for the players. And let's say that, uh, let's hope that the best team wins tomorrow. Okay. Uh, that's from the coach, and we'll go to the team captain. Um, what do you have to talk about tomorrow's game? As uh, for you on the side of players, and uh, being one of the best goalkeepers in Africa, uh, what do you have to say about tomorrow's game? Uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, first and foremost, I want to congratulate South Africa as well as Uganda for qualifying, but that doesn't change in anything. Coming into tomorrow's game, we want to finish the year on a positive note. We've had a wonderful year, a successful year, so we want to keep building on that. It's going to be a tough one. Uh, we're looking forward to it, we're excited. Um, the week has been a, an amazing week. We've got some of our players back that has been out injured, so that is good. And obviously we, we've lost a few players as well, so we'll be playing on their behalf as well, because they've been on the journey with us, it's been a long journey and we're just proud of our achievements uh, being an AFCON back to back. It's a proud moment for us as players, for everyone associated with Bafana Bafana and we know tomorrow it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a, a wonderful atmosphere because we know that we've got a lot of support here in Uganda as well because they, I know they, they follow our local league and we've got a lot of boys playing that side as well, so we're looking forward to the game and it's going to be a good one. Okay, we'll get some few questions uh, before we let them go. From the media, it is open now. Yes, Clive Kessel. Yes, my coach, uh, welcome to Uganda. and uh, have the microphone, please. Congratulations. Of course, uh, you needed a second plan, so we just need more plans to go out there and try to win the game. From the first leg that uh, you played against Uganda in the Africa Global Stadium, what kind of upgrades do you expect to show up tomorrow? Well, I think uh, it will be, will be a tough game. Uh, I think uh, from the Uganda side also, they wanted to be first in the group. It's uh, something that, uh, that makes your team proud if you can end the qualifiers as first in the group. So, uh, and certainly maybe more for Uganda than for us, because uh, from the beginning we were maybe the favourite to be the first in the group. But you see, in, uh, in African football everything can happen. Uh, we see it this afternoon what happens with Congo. So it will be a tough game and, uh, and both teams will uh, try to win, to win the game. So uh, for us, from our side, um, we expect that and we, will, we have to achieve our best level tomorrow to uh, to be together. 
Okay. Uh, is <laughs> but do I answer no? <laughs> no, you know. I, you know, the, uh, this afternoon when, when the game started in Congo, uh, and after half time I looked and I saw 2 2. Um, I was hoping, but uh, I didn't see anymore before I got the message from my assistant coach we are qualified <laughs> so um, yeah it's for me it's a little surprise uh, honestly um, but that shows again how difficult it is in Africa to win games outside and and the two teams who won a game or two games outside are qualified Uganda won the game outside we won already two games outside so that is the big difference in qualifiers and uh, if you can do that then you have a big chance to be qualified. But again, as you see, um, every, every uh, match day there are surprises. Because it's so difficult to win a game outside in Africa. So um, we are very happy for sure. And uh, I was extremely happy when I received the message this afternoon at uh, quarter to five or really quarter to six that uh, Congo was beaten. Okay, uh, Asha. Um, Robert, is it actually mentioned that this video is named after perhaps the greatest South African? No, it's not. A, it's, it's a proud moment for us. You know, we feel at home. Uh, when we trophy now and I saw the name, you know, I got goosebumps. You know, and what Nelson Mandela has done, not only for South Africa, but for Africa as a whole. You know, speaks volumes, and we will just go up there tomorrow, do what he used to do, which is fight and not give up. You know, and let his spirit and his motivation, you know, grab off on us. You know, tomorrow. So we'll use, we'll play his remembrance, and we'll just go up there tomorrow and try and make him proud. I know he's looking down, smiling, smiling. He's happy. We're just qualified, so. We want to make it a perfect uh, a week, perfect camp, and hopefully, you know, tomorrow we can go out there and just go this. Okay. Joel. Yes. Coach, we spoke like I'm a friend's coach before today, and he spoke like about you. You come from the same country. I wonder what words do you have for him and uh, to the captain? And you play alongside uh, Dennis Ojambo at the club level and uh, he's achieved a lot as a player and probably also moving in the same footsteps as him. Uh, is he one of those that you've looked up to as, as you, you play in your career? Uh, you coach yeah, yeah. So yes, um, uh, Paul has always been a, a very nice uh, colleague. Um, he had these uh, difficult periods in Belgium, but after that he came to, uh, to Africa and uh, already in Africa he had some very nice uh, and uh, very nice good, uh, good results. So you know you're, you're always a little bit more happy when you work in a foreign country and foreign continent even, and then there is uh, a compatriot who does it well also. So, and therefore, again, uh, I congratulate him. Uh, it's not easy to be qualified for a country like Uganda, but he did it again, so that means that uh, I think you have a very good coach. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, coming uh, on speak with Dennis and Young, I mean, I can sit here all day and speak about Dennis. You know, I met Dennis, I think, 16 years ago when I came from the Supersport Academy and he welcomed me with open arms into the first team. He's been a role model for me. Uh, he's been the 
helpful hand. And I've always watched, you know, from afar when he moved to Mamelodi Sundowns, I watched him, see him do amazing work. Uh, saw him in the 2019 AFCON as well, doing amazing work for Uganda. And, you know, we've always had a very close bond. And when I joined Mamelodi Sundowns, he welcomed me with open arms. We don't have, we don't compete, we are brothers, you know, and he's like a big brother to me. I listen to him, he helps me, and I mean, Dennis is just a wonderful human being. That's why he's achieved so much, you know, because he's such a good guy, always willing to help. He's a leader, he's a captain, he's a father, and he's a big brother to all of us, and he's an inspiration, you know, to us as goalkeepers. I mean, I think he's won the league 11 times, and that is amazing, you know, and to see him at his age, we, day in, day out, still working so hard to play. It's, it's amazing, you know, and hopefully, you know, his good attributes can rub off on me. Wow, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. That is it.